We feel like the other two games we played, that they've always been a dog fight. We were down two last week at the half. You know, Eric shot obviously gave us some room. I mean, you know, they took advantage and did a great job scoring on the, on the inside. Headley had three threes, and you know, our hands are down. And it was, a, from a coaching standpoint, it was a frustrating effort defensively because I didn't think we put much pressure on the ball, uh, and they took great advantage. I thought that you know, Headley, you know, does what he does best. And, you know, if he's open, he makes threes. And Acker and um, Redfield played really well together. They kind of had that same synergy that Mac and Wick have for us. And they shot 57%. So to be up at halftime, you know, I was happy from that standpoint, but just really disappointed because I thought that we got away from what we do. I thought we got caught up in the atmosphere and it was more of a show than a basketball game. And for us, we got to grind out and play hard defensively and get out and run. And that's where they struggle the most because they're better in a half court game. In the second half, you know, the first six, eight minutes, which is kind of punch, counter punch. Uh, I thought we made some decent adjustments, but you know, the biggest thing always is just your energy and your resolve to do your job on every play. When we made the run, you know, the, the great surprise of all was uh, Bradley Jacks just, you know, infused us with great energy, but he also scored the basketball. And it was just great to see him embrace the moment and go after it and just be relentless scoring the ball. You know, 10 feet in, but also being help uh, better on the glass. I thought on the glass in the first half we got compromised. I thought in the second half we did a little bit better job. You talk about the core group that you've had this year. Even our non-conference schedule, if you go further back, you know, we try to play as hard on non-conference schedules as we can. We were in a lot of dog fights with a lot of quality teams, and you know, you, you see the number 24 up there as far as 24 and two, and you know. That comes because we're willing to grind it out and get stops defensively. I mean, Joey and Wade obviously are our primary scorers, and you know they continue to need to be those guys in order for us to be successful. Um, so I think that you know the new Mac, there's not that many close games. You know, I mean, not that many uh, games that are decided by you know large margins. So you know every conference game is you know a really tough game as it is. You know we played three games with these guys. I think we won all of them by just eight to ten points. But you know, at like 57, 47, that's a score they want to have. You know, they want to play in the 40s and 50s, and their length is just outstanding. And you know, I think Larry does a great job of putting their pieces in the best possible position. You know, the 16-0 run just was energy and defense, and you know, they're missing some shots, and, and we get out and run, and when we get out and run, we're a much better team than we're in the half court. And it's exciting to be able to host. Uh, we haven't hosted in the longest time. And it's a situation where, you know, I think that our upperclassmen and our know, leadership group uh, spoke long and hard about this last spring, what we wanted to do and, you know, where we wanted to be. And right now, where we want to be, we're one game away from, you know, potentially winning a new MAC championship. But that's going to be a dogfight for tomorrow. And, you know, if our guys get some rest and um, bring up great energy again.